Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play the guitar solo from my new song, Do or Die. If you haven't already heard it, it is available across all streaming platforms and you can check out the music video right now by clicking on the tab at the top of this video or you can follow the link down in the description. Now, before we jump into the solo, I just wanted to say that if you're interested in learning some awesome, fiery new licks on guitar, then make sure to check out my new licks edition of Bulletproof Rock Guitar, which is now available for pre-order on truefire.com. If you've got some time off over the holidays, why don't you try learning some crazy new licks to impress your family and friends over Christmas? In this edition, I'll be showing you how to play 20 of my favorite licks for soloing and improvisation. We'll work on licks using techniques such as legato, tapping, sweet picking, three notes per string, and diminished scale permutations. This may sound a bit complicated, but I break them down step by step, so they are actually super easy to learn, but they look and sound Sound way more impressive. I have handpicked some licks from some of my biggest guitar heroes as well as some licks from my own original songs and we will be applying them over a variety of rock backing tracks. Everything is tabbed and linked to the video so you can slow down or loop any of the video lessons to learn at your own pace so even the hardest licks become simple to understand and learn. This course is out on the 23rd of December just in time for Christmas so make sure that you pre-order now so that you do not miss it. In the meantime I do actually have another course on True Fire, which is already out, Bulletproof Rock Guitar Expressive Techniques. In this course, I tell you all of my secrets on how to master the fretboard quickly. Check out the link in my description to find out more about both courses. Now, without further ado, let's check out the solo for Do or Die. Okay, so this song is in the key of A minor and the solo starts in the first position of the A minor pentatonic scale on the higher octave, which lives here on the 17th fret. We're going to start the solo with a double stop bend on the 20th fret of the B string. We're gonna use our ring finger on that fret and bend it up a whole tone. But as well as this, we're also going to be holding down our index finger on the 17th fret of the E string. And we're going to keep this still while our ring finger bends the B string. So uh, hit both of these strings together. And that is what, that's what our double stop bend is gonna sound like. It's also a good idea when you're doing this to uh, tuck your middle finger behind that ring finger to help it support the bend. While you're holding that bend, your pinky is going to hit the 20th fret of the high E string and you're going to play that with an upstroke so it's going to ring out while the bend is still ringing out as well. We're then going to take that pinky finger off and give that double stop bend another pick with a down strum. We're going to slightly release it and then bend it back up again. From there, we're going to pull off from the 20th fret to the 17th fret of the B string. Then a whole step bend on the 20th fret of the high E string. Again, use your ring finger to bend and the uh, middle finger and maybe the index as well to support that. And then we're gonna release the bend and hit the 20th fret again and add a bit of vibrato. We then play the 17th fret on the E string. Then we play that double stop bend again, slowly pushing it up, then slightly releasing it and pushing it up again two more times. Make sure that you are uh, bending the notes accurately here and that you're definitely getting that tone difference. 
finish off this first section, we slide from the 20th fret on the B string to the 22nd fret. There is a slight staccato there on that note where we kind of cut it off early, and then we play that 22nd fret one more time, add some vibrato and slide off. So that whole section slowly looks like this. And up to speed. Then we have this little hammer on and pull off pattern down the B string. Starting on the 20th fret, we hammer on to the 22nd fret and pull off twice. Then we go down to the 19th fret uh, and the 20th. Then the 17th and the 19th. Then finally the 15th and the 17th. And you're picking each time you move as well. Then we've got this lick here. For that, we're gonna pull off the 17th fret of the B string to the 15th fret. Play the 17th fret on the G string. And then hit the 15th fret on the B string. This little pull off pattern comes around quite a few times in this solo, so make sure you take some time to get your fingers around that. After that, we then do that same pull off pattern, but from the uh, 17th to the 14th fret on the G string, hit the 17th fret on the D string, and the 14th on the G string. Next, we are gonna slide up to the 19th fret on the G string, then hammer on from the 17th to the 19th. We then have a semitone bend on the 19th fret of the G string, and we then pull off to the uh, 17th fret. And then we finally hit that 19th fret on the um, D string. And then we kind of do this big slidey thing that kind of sounds, you kind of slide down, up and back down, and it kind of makes like a wow sounds. Just like that. So after that slide to finish this section off, we then hit the 12th fret of the G string, hammer onto the 14th and pick that again. Give it lots of vibrato and slide off. So that whole second section slowly, it sounds like this. And up to speed. In the next section, we have this cyclic pattern. So it starts with a double stop on the eighth fret of the E and the B strings. Then we pull off from the 10th fret to the eighth fret on the B string. And then finish on the ninth fret of the G string. We play this full thing twice. Then on the third time round, we actually don't play that last note. Instead, we go straight back to the beginning. So we play the double stop, do the pull off from the 10th uh, to the eighth fret on the B string. And then we go right back to the start um, and play that double stop again. We then play that whole sequence twice. So here it is slowly. And here it is up to speed. This might be a little bit confusing to get your fingers around, but just keep practicing it to a metronome and you will get there. Okay, next we're going to be climbing up the second, third, fourth, and fifth positions of the minor pentatonic boxes using the E and the B strings. And we're gonna be tracing that pentatonic box using the pull-off patterns that we learned in the second section. So starting off with, we're gonna be um, pulling off from the 10th fret to the 8th fret on the E string. Hit the 10th fret on the B string. 
and then the uh, eighth fret on the high E string. We then move up one position and we pull off from the 12th to the 10th fret on the high E string. Hit the 13th fret on the B string and the 10th fret on the E string. We then move into our fourth pentatonic box of uh, the A minor scale and we pull off from the 15th fret to the 12th fret on the high E string. Hit the 15th fret on the B string and the 12th fret on the high E string. And we then go into our fifth pentatonic position where we pull off from the 17th to the 15th fret on the high E string. Hit the 17th fret on the B string and the 15th fret on the high E string. And we then find ourselves back in the first position of the A minor pentatonic scale where we're gonna be bending and releasing on the 20th fret of the high E string and then pull off to the 17th fret. Then we pick the 20th fret of the B string and slide up to the 22nd fret. So that run all together slowly looks like this. And up to speed. The fifth and final section of the solo starts with that pull-off pattern that we're so used to, this time pulling off from the 22nd fret of the B string to the 20th fret, hitting the 21st fret of the G string and then back to the 20th fret on the B string. We then do a whole tone bend and release on the 20th fret of the B string, adding lots of vibrato afterwards. Then pick the 17th fret of the B string. Then another whole tone bend and release on the 19th fret of the G string. Pick the 17th fret on the G string. And finally the 19th fret of the D string and then we're gonna slide off. And to end the solo, we just catch the harmonic from the top three strings on the fifth fret and dive bomb it. To do this, just lightly rest your finger over the fret wire on the fifth fret. You don't want to be applying any pressure or anything, you just want to be lightly resting your finger on top of the strings. And then just strum the top three strings together and lift your fingers off. Then we're just going to dive bomb out of that. So that last section played slowly is this. up to speed. And that is how you play the solo from my new song, Do or Die, which features the amazing Nathan James on vocals. If you do want to cover the song, make sure that you tag me in the video so that I can check it out and I will be sure to share some of my favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please uh, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything. Also, make sure to stream Do or Die wherever you stream music and follow me across my social media to know when I release any new songs. We have a lot more stuff coming in 2023. Also, if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to have a look at my True Fire courses, which are all linked down in the description. I hope you've enjoyed learning this solo, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.